but on the next teams, I'm going to ask uh, the ladies from the Valley Championship teams, all four, four Pete, to come up and stand here in front of the podium as we go ahead. And do we have a film on that one? We do have a video. Okay, I'm sorry. I thought we didn't. Go ahead. Let's look at the same Thank you. 99, 2000, and 2001. Varsity Girls Basketball Teams. From 1998 through the 2001 season, the Wasco High Lady Tigers basketball team won four straight Central Valley Basketball Division III championships and collectively have been selected to be inducted together as many players played on more than one and as many as three of the championship teams. The 1998 squad finished the season with a 24-6 record went undefeated in the South Sequoia League with a 10-0 record and defeated rival Shafter 54-49 for the Valley Championship. They then went on to the state playoffs to defeat La Puente from the Los Angeles area before losing to private school, Alameda, in the Southern California State semifinal playoff game. With only one senior starter, the Lady Tigers were ready for more. The 1999 team finished with a 23-5 record Another undefeated SSL season. Crushed the Dinuba 77-49 for the Valley Championship title. And in the state playoffs, beat Ganesha on the Los Angeles before losing again 65-54 in the Southern California semifinals to another private school, Harvard Westland. In 2000, the Lady Tigers went 21-8, finished second in SSL at 8-2 to a tap team that won the Division IV Valley title. But the Lady Tigers then went on to capture the Division III Championship easily versus Selma, 64-41, and again faced Alamany in a top 67-56 loss in the state playoffs. The 2001 team, which tied Liberty of Bakersfield for the SSL Championship at 9-1, both found themselves facing each other for the Division III title game in Wasco. And the Lady Tigers came away with their fourth straight Central Valley section title in a closely contested contest of 42 to 37. The opening state playoff game saw them defeated by a strong Morningside squad, 16 to 47, ending another outstanding season. Coach David Lucas got the best seat for all these games as he was fortunate to be able to be on the sidelines to help guide the Lady Tigers through their 4 P championship year. On the 1998 team, we want to recognize Elsa Aguirre, co-captain, Maria Barbosa, Robin Blount, Yvette Henderson, Shelby Hood, Chrissy McDaniel, Mandy Nolden, All League, Trinia Patterson, Priscilla Vento, Antonia Washington, co-captain, Crystal Williams, and VP of All League. Recognizing the 1999 team, Robin Blount, Latoya DeBerry, All League, Anna Espinal, Aaron Hicks, Shelby Hood, Lydia Irby, Chrissy McDaniel, co-captain, Danny Nolman, co-captain, Ollie Hamilaria, Trinia Patterson, Priscilla Bento, Lindsay West, and Crystal Williams, MVP, All League. The 2000 team, Shante Armstrong, Robin Blount, Taisha Carquet, Jennifer Dent, Maitika Harrison, Aaron Hicks, Lydia Irby, Sarah Irby, Lita Mendy, Nellie Montoya, Danny Nolman, MVP, All League, and all area, and finally, Lindsay West. And the 2001 team, Shannon Beach, Beth Holterman, Lydia Irby, co-captain, Sarah Irby, Melissa Mayers, Nellie Montoy, the other co-captain, Sarah Ortiz, Crystal Ramirez, Jamie Sanford, and Lindsay West, MVP, all week. And that is your 1998, 99, 2000, and 2001 varsity girls basketball Valley Championship teams from 
Actually, out of those uh, four teams, there are only 29 total girls uh, that were, were, were played. And uh, I'm just going to real fast. Uh, here are the girls that won three Valley Championship teams. Uh, step out, we'll just real quick. Peggy Nolan, Robin Mount, Lindsay West, and Lydia Irving. Step out, take a step out, baby. Similar game and 
winning that one by five points. And uh, that was another, you know, winning those ones, those close ones are special. When you, you go into ones that are, you, you know, you kind of think you, for sure you're going to, he ain't say for sure you're going to win, but you're a dominant team. But 88 and 2000 Walmart are pretty special. So thank you, ladies. This is fine.
we went from that to summer league, and we started. We played at the Centennial Summer League. We played Stockdale, and Stockdale thought that they were going to come and beat the brakes off of us, and we actually kept up with them. And then we had our own summer league tournament, and we beat them, and we beat them again, and we beat them again. And it was that was the time when we put Wasp on the map. And our goal as a team was basically put us on the map. We beat this team, these teams. Uh, we had so much fun. I'm sure I can say my hands up high, my feet down low. What I'm talking <laughs> We had so much fun as a team. We, we truly enjoyed each other. We truly enjoyed our bus rides home. <laughs> The boys would lose, but we'd be partying the back. <laughs> All the time. All the time. And then when they won, we'd be like, ooh, okay, now I can celebrate this. We don't even yell at y'all. Um, I can tell y'all plenty of Lucas isms. So, seeing how this is his inauguration, might as well give him a little ropes. So, we'd be up there. <laughs> We, he'd be saying, pass the ball, pass the ball, and somebody would take a shot, and he'd be like, no, 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 and it would go in, he'd be like, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I think we all had that. He would tell us, yeah, good shot, good shot. Uh, <laughs> October, November, you, you already knew what time it was when you had that first practice. You had to do Geronimo, you had to do Geronimo where the last person had to go in the front, and he'd tell the guards, you better not, you better not come in last, and you better speed it up. And so all of us uh, post or three and fours would be like, y'all better slow down. And when we got to the front, we slowed down. And, he, and then, uh, then my Tika would come to the front and be like, you better, my Tika, if you don't slow down, and if you do not slow down. He would tell us if he went for a steal and you got it, it was okay, but if you did, if you missed it, he was wrong. And he would tell you he was wrong. We would play, we played East High, and I think we ended up being an 88 to 8. Um, it was. But the first quarter, uh, we didn't play so hot. We were about the points, but we weren't playing good enough. And he would always tell us, and we would laugh, because we'd be like, yeah, right. He, he'd tell the starters, if you don't start playing, I'm going to take you out. And we'd just look at each other and be like, OK, so we don't start playing, because we know he don't take us out. All right, we got you. <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't know if I can say this a little bit, but I'm going to say it. Uh, he, <laughs> He would be coaching us, and people in the stands would always be yelling at some, something. They would just try to give us tips. And he would tell us, when you're on the court, don't look at there and look at me. I'm your daddy. And we were like, <laughs> That is a true story. Everybody here can attest to that. <laughs> Glad you guys are awake. I'm not going to sleep. Um, but we just want to say, honestly, from all of us, thank you. We couldn't be, we wouldn't, we wouldn't have, you know, been anywhere without you yelling at us in 100 whatever it was, degree weather, about to pass out, and then going back into the gym. Uh, we thank you for all your support. Uh, we truly appreciate it, and I'll turn it over to Lindsay. Talk to that. <laughs> Special. 